Ooh, okay, right, let's put it, uh, yeah, let's just put it over the pre-job prep. And resume, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Monami. By now, there's nothing more for me to say. But you're probably going to say something anyway. <laughs> anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. That's why I'm going to fight too. I will fight the only way I can. I'm going to show that guy my fearsome retaliation. That's basically it. And that's basically it, everyone. <laughs> so if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. Other possibilities? Huh. If something other than the spear killed Nagito, all I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Hmm. hmm. It's getting us towards, I think, the uh, poison in his room, isn't it? In which case, we're going to need to figure out how this relates. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm. <laughs> She's hmm-ing. Are we finished already? I feel like it's possible that we overlook something. Arr, overlooked. Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. Arr, a fatal wound that wasn't the spear. We don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out what it is, no matter what. Arr. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing it is leading us to the uh, poison. Oh, a piece of blue paper. Hello. What's this all going to be about? Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled to death. There's no way he burned to death. Was a cause of death something that cannot be seen? Ah, uh, hello, could if be. If it's something that can't be seen... Maybe he choked himself with a sleeper hold. Or liquefied his guts with a body blow! Jesus Christ. Just thinking about it, that's already a horrible death. Oh, hang on, we've got Monokuma's special poison. There's a truth bullet here. Let hold us on. consider a different fatal wound. Didn't notice that before. It's not the knife in his... It's not the other wound. With all those wounds, maybe he simply... There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be... <laughs> give me that, give me that, give me that. Yes, there we are. I agree with that. Indeed. We always seem to consent with Sonya a lot in these trials, don't we? That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. But, you know, why wouldn't you consent with your princess waifu? If the cause of death was something we can't see... Then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Poison? It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Here we go, everyone. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. <laughs> as the label says. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. Okay, so... How would it be administered, then? Hmm. Oh my god, I've had a thought. Oh. Oh. You don't suppose the fire grenades? Maybe he switched a few of them out for poison? But if that's the case, then that would mean the killer could literally be any one of us. Okay, let's just see where it goes, but that's an idea to hold on to. If poison was the cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body! 
because the description of the poison says it's um, heavier than air. So presumably, you know, it would go straight towards the ground to where he is, Nagito is, because he's lying down. Hmm. He said it also said that it vaporizes pretty quickly as well. Which I'm assuming means it would dissipate pretty fast, but yeah, okay. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. Well, he is the <laughs> ultimate Yakuza. What does that mean? But, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood... You wouldn't see them. Plus, he was clothed, and I don't recall anyone bothering to check underneath the clothes. There's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full, so how would he drink poison? I'm genuinely curious, is it the fire grenades? Because that blue thing that we found in his room, little blue aluminium thing, do you reckon that's like a bottle cap or something? From one of the grenades? We'll have to see. Right, I'm, I'm going to stake. I'm going to put the bet. It's the fire grenades, isn't it? His left hand was tied up and gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow-acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No, I don't think it is, from the description of it. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly yeah. states the effect is instant. There you go. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. But there's still that other way, possibly. And this is when the hard tail appears! Oh no, let's not get back to this. You're totally overvaluing that tail! His mouth was covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink poison, how would he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. <laughs> All that, just kidding. Here's some more information for you motherfuckers. Are there any left? Come on, Hajime, thank you. No. no matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method. The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. <clears throat> Maybe. Er, uh, the way the poison entered Nogito's body. The answer is written on the warning label. But it says it vaporizes. It turns into a gaseous state. So he breathed it, I'm guessing. I should think carefully and try to remember it. Arr. Is it? Oh, logic dive time. Whenever you hear this music. Got to remember that. Alright, let's have a look. What sort of questions are you got for us here? Oh, hello. Blue triangles. You're not going to get in my way. Let's slow down a bit. Take it bit by bit. Because you know what I'm like, crushing into things. Bloody awful. I'm a beggar for it, aren't I? Let's slow down. There we are. Speed up. And through this one. Ooh. Uh, I was taking it out a bit fast, but okay. Right, is it question? Oh god. Um, thin platforms. See, there's a lot of this uh, boarding down before you actually get to a question. Ooh, careful. <laughs> question one. What state was the poison in when it affected Nagito? I think it was in a gaseous form, because it vaporises quickly. Liz? Yes, we're right. Okay, here we go. We're on the move, ladies and gents. Oh god. Watch out for the friggin' triangles. I bet there's more of them. I knew it. Of course there always is. Yay! No. No. Don't you be like that. Seriously. Alright, alright, alright. There's all these obstacles to get around just to get to the next question. I could go snowboarding in a Rumpa game. Slow down. Slow it. Here we are. Hajime, just take it bit by bit. I know it's not very fast or riveting footage for all you people watching, but I'm on low life, so I can't afford to mess this up, right? Right, here we go, question two. How did the poison enter Nagato's body? I mean, through his nose, probably, possibly. I mean, his mouth's taped I'm going to say through his nose, can, you know, breathing. It's in a gaseous state, so he would have had to breathe it. Yeah, see? 
There we go. Right, let's get on to question three, ladies and gents. We're going to slow down, please. There we are. Here we go. Yeah. What a jump that was. Oh, watch out. There we go. Oh, there's only two questions this time. Okay. So, gas through his nose. It's coming together. There we go. Still leading me towards this fire grenade possibility. What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. There you are. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! That's literally what we just said, but okay. Breathe that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? Do you say, well, did it also say something about maybe it dissipates very quick? Something like that? Or the reason we didn't breathe in the poisonous gas. I should be able to explain that mystery too. Smoke, sprinklers, monokuma merch. Possibly the fire? Um, or the sprinklers? No. It's just fire would have neutralised. Okay. Crap! Sprinklers, maybe. I see! Yeah, there we go. Okay, I should have gone with that one. <laughs> The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. Okay, it's actually going to spell it out this time. <laughs> I can't quite remember what it was it said, but okay. What was it? In a gaseous state, it's heavier than air, it breaks down, it's susceptible to hydrolysis, okay. Possibly to poison someone to death without any complications, right. Of course! Hydrolysis! Should have remembered. The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Also, the poison is apparently denser than air, so it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But it would have affected Nagato, who was down Nagito on the floor. But Nagato was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poisoning. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. Someone's going to interrupt me, aren't they, and say, No, I don't believe in that. So what? Oh, is it just dialogue? Please don't make me do another of those mini games that I always fuck up. Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but... so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already! No, we need to think about the method of delivery. Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right. All the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? No. It's, well, but... What? There's still more? Yes. Or, I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagato's motive is still unclear. Or, did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Or, is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Or, Nagato's motive... Nagito's malice. Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? Arr. No, that can't be. There might have been... an accomplice. Oh. Is this what we're getting to with the fire grenades? Maybe? Someone threw it? Arr. Chiaki! What did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Mm, yes. Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. Because someone else brought it. Possibly unintentionally. If that's the case, that could, um... Hmm. Be interesting. Uh, if Nagito really brought poison to the warehouse, then the thing that would have been left behind is... <laughs> the meat on the bone. <laughs> that's going back to the first case. I see! Container. There we are. Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah, 
If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? That would be pretty messed up, wouldn't it? If he genuinely put the poison in a random fire grenade, and so one of us picked it up without even realising what it was. Because that would mean someone in this room is an unintentional murderer. murderer. They killed him without even knowing what they were doing. He can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? <laughs> you look like that's uh, something completely unbelievable. Yeah, that was written on the warning label. Mm. Keep it secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. The container probably melted in the fire. Mm. It's probably plastic or glass, right? Yeah. There's no way it'd completely incinerate. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? I swear, if it is actually a fire grenade... Then, does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice! <sighs> that is impossible! Why is it impossible? Mean... An accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, oh, you're right! You're totally right! That's totally it! Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. No. Uh, I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> this one's at about three freaking moments where it's all, ooh, touchy-feely. Everyone's tired, tired of doubting everyone else. This is why the trial's go on for so fucking long. Because you have these moments just to it seem to serve little purpose other than to drag it out. Uh, I also feel that way. That's why I just want to rule this as Nagito's suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt, but... That's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito's suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> ghost whispering. <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. Shut up! You just be quiet. I, I get what you're saying, but... In the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Come on, people. Think. Delivery. How do... How does he... How do poison get to Nagito Nose? If he tied. How do poison get to Warehouse? <laughs> Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But surely someone would remember that if they'd done it. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Am I right? Uh, what is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light running through the back of my head. I think Hajime's had a eureka moment. Uh, maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. Uh, from there, I might be able to reach the answer. The way Nagato brought the poison. Which means the thing he used as a container was a fire grenade, wasn't it? Wow. Did I actually call it? It fits. It fucking fits. Right, give me, um... Oh. Shit. Uh, F. F. There we go. Let's get rid of all those. Uh, give me an eye. Here we go. There we are. That's those. 
Get rid of those. Fire. Gee. Oh god, things are actually kind of um, hitting each other here. God. Yeah. Everything happens so fucking fast. Get rid of that. I need an R, preferably. Ooh, that was so close. Yeah, things are hitting each other, and I don't have a lot of fucking health. Yeah. Oh, I just lost that D. What? There you go. Yeah, I got it. Holy moly. Those things are getting more and more... They're putting me under more and more pressure, they are. <laughs> I see. I got it. Huh? The fire grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. Oh, man. See, this is what I fear, because now it's like, well, how do we verify which fire grenade it was and who threw it? Because that means potentially whoever threw it is the killer. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? And they didn't even realize what they were doing. Yeah. The container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Oh boy. This bastard. He totally knew we were going to throw those fire grenades. Is anyone going to cotton on to the implications of this. Which means, did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but the canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. Aluminium. Hello, hello. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? The That is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Yeah. Hajime, could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible. Miss Sonia just said so right now. Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? Oh, Sonia's words contain a clue that the contents of a fire grenade were swapped with the poison. Piece of blue paper. I can prove it with this. There we are. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. Aluminium. You silly sausages. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? That's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. So what's the issue? Come on, my dude. Cotton on here. Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with no. him, breathed it in, and died, right? <laughs> Freaking idiot! Come on! <laughs> See the implication of this! So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! Y you're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. Oh my god, these people are dumb. We're dealing with idiots. See, I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. Please, Chiaki, Hajime, somebody, tell these fools to shut up. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. No, nope, it was an unintentional murderer. You, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. Yep. Oh god, I was right. I called it. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Ch Chiaki? I'm sorry. 
But I just realized it. Realized what? Really, Hajime? You've not even seen it? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? Someone here is an unintentional murderer! It probably happened at the same time. Uh, the moment the fire grenades were brought and the moment Nagito breathed in the poison were the same. Could that same moment be when we all threw the grenades? I see! Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. Oh dear, who is it then? When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse. The poison was deployed and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean he didn't kill himself. Oh boy. You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! Oh, dude, just shut up. Th th then who killed Nagito? You mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Arr. The person who prepared the poison fire grenade was... Nagito himself, right? I see! Yeah. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poisoned grenade? Well, Nagito put the set up together. Akane was the one who knocked the things over. The person who set the warehouse fire was... I see! Nagito! <laughs> that was also Nagito. Hey! How many times are you going to ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? Oh, the reason Nagito set the warehouse on fire? To make someone throw the poison. I see! So that one of us would kill him. Don't tell me. He... He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why did he do that? No, he set the warehouse on fire so he'd throw the poison. It was a trap. A trap? God, these people are dumb. <laughs> Preparing the poison, creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. You know, they are dumb, and considering that I'm the one having to tell them that, <laughs> me who constantly messes up some of these mini games, good lord. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously I'm asking you who threw it I don't know the person who threw it probably didn't know either huh could, could it be was that Nagito's trap hmm. this wasn't an intentional murder this was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do and for that reason he put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. Oh, man. I applaud his thought process. <laughs> this is an interesting one. What? What the hell? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. And then... Oh, ma'am. This trial really does, you know, these trials really do take interesting turns, don't they? 
spear. Hold, hold, hold on. If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death. It might be the poison's fault they let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Okay, so you're confirming it. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body, it was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces! For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair! If I had a pound for every time he said unsolvable, solvable, solvable, solve, solve, solvable, unsolvable... Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick! Not all mysteries can be solved! <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. I... I am so sorry! Please vote me as the killer! No, we have to vote for who threw it. But the problem is we don't know who threw it. That's not the fucking issue here! It's not M Miss Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. It impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? Hmm. That's right! There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras! If Monokuma doesn't know, this trial doesn't count! Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. Oh? I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times! And why is that? I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya! And one of those visits seemed to take a while. Uh, what? <laughs> Please stop! I will never become queen! What? I don't even want to think about that. How can you... I'm such a... I mean, how can you have such an awful power? You're going in the right direction for a big slap, you are. So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is! So Monokuma is basically saying he knows who threw the the um, the fake fire grenade. Right. That's interesting. He says he doesn't need surveillance cameras to know what's going on. Which makes me wonder... Is that because this is all a virtual reality? Everything that's happening is being displayed on a computer screen? Like a freaking server log, almost. I don't know. I'm hypothesizing. I'm speaking. I'm getting. I'm going. I'm going off piece here. Yes, he says. How the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably. There's one way. I think. Oh. Really? Hey, is it alright if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? Okay. I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. Alright, that's right. It doesn't mean the trial is over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagito, it should be clear what kind of trap he set. Arr. Then I have to do it, even if it leads to despair. I got it. Let's do this then. 
go into this then. Okay, so that looks like he's in his cottage and he's got the fire grenade. And he's doing oh God, he's doing summer. What was inside Nagato's refrigerator? Well I don't see a bottle one on there. Uh, that's him getting the gas mask and the gloves on and switching the poison. Right before switching the poison. That's throwing one fire grenade. Oops, I'll let go of the cord. Spears dangling, plushies ready. Poison with the shattered grenade is it's one of those. Right, that's where he's got the thing and he's putting it back. What's placed inside the break room? It's not yet. What's this one? What's beyond the Monokuma panel? Hmm. His whole body wasn't tied up. Okay. How did he support the spear with the kind of girder thing? Oops, let go of the cord. Spear's dangling. That looks like it's from that panel there, so that's not it. In order to hurt himself, there's a knife. Is it up there? No, that's not. Oh god, I've not got much life here. Uh, no, so I propped up the knife with something this one. There we go, got that. That one's in place. The reason we went to the warehouse was all the music and all that. Got the fire grenades. Inside the throne fire grenade was the poison. That's from that, so that's a red herring. What made the spear fall? Oops, I let go of the cord. There we go, got that one. Aside from the fire grenade. Ah, right. Does that go there? Yes. Okay, here we go. Stop two. Gas mask equipped. I think that's in one of the panels. Uh, let's see now. reason we went to the warehouse was... That doesn't look like anything from there. Uh, in order to hurt himself... How did he support spear? Spear even. Whole body wasn't tied up. What's beyond the Monokuma panel? What's placed inside the break room? Those. There we are. Ah. That's from that panel. That's from that one. That goes there. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Shit, I'm getting low. Need to be careful. What's inside? No, it's just this one. There we are. Got it. Stock three. What have we got? I'll tie the burned rope onto my right hand. Nagito appears at the restaurant. Put this oil lighter here. Play some music. Right before switching the poison. That's uh, one we haven't had yet. What's beyond the Monokuma panel? Lighter. There we are. His whole body wasn't tied up. There we are. Stock four. So this, how did he support the spear? I don't see anything on there. Um, in order to hurt himself. Right. The reason we went to the warehouse was this. This video message. Right, we're done with all the latter ones. Lord to hurt himself. How do you support spear? Right before switching the poison. No, that's... Oh, hold on, so it's not that one. Which means it's something that goes in here. Not the bombs fireworks, put that on. There we are. Oh no. Oh god, I'm so low. Ah. Oh wait a minute, does it go... Hmm. Hmm. Does it go there? Yes, it does. Okay. Last stock. Alright, he's got the... Removing the lid there. So there's this. How did he support it? I'll grab the spear cord with my left hand. I think that might go there. Yeah. Which leaves this one oh, here. Right before switching the poison, let's remove the lid. There we are. Here's everything Done. that happened in this case. The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the Octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base. Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence. The blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory,
and put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, he stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally, he propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up, he also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over, in fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity. Well, there we are. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. Wow. That is quite the... Uh, quite the plan, that is. And I like the fact that it's gone this direction, the idea of the unsolvable case. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Let's see. Uh, um... Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? <laughs> you say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is... probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito... really not care who the killer was? 
Arr. He said this to us earlier. It's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. Oh, what Nagito had you made? His talent? I think that was it, wasn't it? Because he talked about that a lot. I see! Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. So is that... Is that what it's going to come down to? He's trusting in his luck that we'll pick the right killer or something? After all the time we've spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely going to be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But, in his case... It was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. Mm-hmm. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. A uh, Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. Out of that, you only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving, now. But I'm still alive, after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. I already did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty, just as he wanted. Arr. Oh yes. That's right, I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. Oh god, Teru Teru. This is a voice I've not done for a while. Uh, it was French, wasn't it? Uh, you just relied on your luck. It's not just luck, it's true my talent is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know. Uh, I'm left with the red mark. Arr, for someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now, arr. At the time, Ajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought... It was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Arr. He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No, there's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. What, what did he do? At this point, I am just worried about who it's going to be. Who's going to end up being killed. You know, he wasn't just after anybody. He was after the traitor. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. And he was trusting in his luck then? That the person he was aiming for would be the one to throw the fatal fire grenade? Is that where we're going here? A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. Oh man. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean... He left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? 
traitor. It's got to be, hasn't it? Oh, uh, no, even, I don't even have to ask. I should already know what the answer is. I see. Yes. That's it? The traitor? Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then... What he said in his video message... It won't work with just any student and book. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor student and book. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So he was... just bluffing! That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. So he didn't know at all. Ah, then it's just as Nagito said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. Arr. The reason this took so damn long, was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Mm. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. She knows something. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? Arr, he relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. Arr, it sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it. Because they weren't created to do that. Hmm? Ch Chiaki? Where's this coming from? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why... I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. Oh my god, it's you, isn't it? Is it? What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the Future Foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? No. Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. No! No! You are not going to make me make this choice. No! It's Chiaki, isn't it? I mean, all I have to go on is that weird outburst just then, but... Oh my god, no! Don't make me do this. Uh, I don't want to... No, I don't want to... I don't want to kill my gaming waifu! I don't have a choice, do I? Uh, oh god. Well, that's a turn. This trial has gone through so many twists there. I have to do it. As much as I don't want to. 
I think she's hinting that I have to pick her. It's... you? Chiaki, you're the traitor? Please! Hold on! Ah, you totally guessed right. Okay. <laughs> I don't Just even... as expected. Yep, you're correct. I have nothing to say. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all... is me. Ah, uh, damn it! Why? This is, I mean, this nonsense is... Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki. Are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up till now... You've been tricking us? Tricking us in what way, exactly? What? We were not tricked! Mm. After all, we have been working together all this time. We have been helping each other all this time! Yeah, she's never done anything weird. Chiaki, being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying Future Foundation, that is obviously a lie! Please, wait! The Future Foundation isn't what you think it is! Hmm. It's true, we still don't really know anything about this thing, this organization. Shut the fuck up! We're talking to Chiaki! No. I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do... is vote. H hold on! We're not satisfied yet! If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot vote until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? It's weird, isn't it? Waiting until right now to out yourself. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? I have nothing much to say at this point. I'm just letting the game speak now. Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Arr. Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? F favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. How? Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. How do I prove it? Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you! I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. So please... <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... She's not disguised at all! Cause... Chiaki isn't the traitor! Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all! What are you saying? Hey! Are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've... always been alone. I... have no friends... anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Damn it! Ch Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Oh, uh, Monami and Chiaki's relationship. Proving it here. Is that the only way? What, we have to prove there's a connection between them two? Hmm. Right? Mm -hmm.
Okay, it's this. Right. Here we go, everyone. Hide me, you stupid face! Oh god. It's going fast. Let's all get along. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just spamming the buttons. You. Let's all get along. First open and next. Oh no, god. No. I can't lose. Hide me, you stupid face! Oh god, this is not fast. Let you. Not doing well here. Oh god, zero stock. First open and mix. Cancel all of them. I'll lower your grades. Disappear. Yeah, uh, get the buttons. You stupid face. Buttons, bullets, even. Oh god. Uh, and I are notebook. Uh, w D A S. This is the end. So that's how it fits in. When we investigated Nagito's cottage, I discovered a notebook with a new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? Oh boy. That's right! Since I knew something like this would happen, I made sure to bring it here today. No wonder she was intent on taking it back from us. Oh, uh, so sudden? Give me that notebook! Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Byakia is the leader. A lot of things happen today, so everyone's tired. Huh? What is this? Is this Monami's diary? Is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Nagito wouldn't know either. However, it's different for me. You know? It took me this long, but I finally understand. Do you? Uh, no, the truth is, I might have already known the moment I found this notebook. It's just, I wanted to turn my eyes on the truth it contained. But now I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. You saying it's written by Chiaki? Then the one who wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? Because, there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. Only you and Chiaki. Is that what you're saying? Uh, the topic we discussed in that entry. Um, shit, what was it? A future goal? No, that's not it. Damn it! Oh god, what was it? What was it we talked about that only me and Chiaki would know? The final dead room? Final dead room. What was it we said? In the notebook. There was a specific entry. I can't remember. What was it? We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go in the final dead room today. He's probably okay. I'm guessing there was no one else around to see that. There it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room, but the only one who knew that. Gosh. I mean, I literally just guessed at the final dead room. This is... Wow, this is something I'd completely forgotten about. Or if I win the life threatening game here, I'll be able to go to the Octagon place, right? That's the where the exit should be. I did it, Ar. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out, Ar. You can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's right. The only person who knew that is... Chiaki. That's why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie too? Miss Sonia. Chiaki is... She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. 
We still don't know what this Future Foundation is. They're saying that Chiaki is with the Future Foundation, but we don't know what that is. Is that connected to Monokuma, or is that something else? I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. Arr, and so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bombs without saying a word, took her handbook out of her pocket, Arr, and without hesitating, swiped the card reader. <coughs> Looks like it was wrong. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. Mm. She... she knew? It's Nagito. <laughs> you can't put it past him that he'd bluff about things. That is a mistake! That must be a mistake! Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? Of course not! I will not believe it! I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor! There is... just no way! I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe, but... but then nobody will be saved! Ah, another debate. It's interesting. Sonny's account, Monokuma's account. Hmm. Let's just see what they have to say first. God, this is a big one, this is. Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb... Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious! There's no way Chiaki would have known! If that bomb was fake or not! The only person who knew it was a fake was... Me, when I tried to detonate it! Unless you know a whole lot about bombs... There's no way you know if it's fake just by looking ah, at it! I know, yeah. I know what it is. Chiaki is not the. When we were trying to turn. Didn't Chiaki use the. If she's a traitor, she. There's no way Chiaki. If that bomb was fake, the only person who knew it. Me, when I tried to detonate it. Unless you know a whole lot about bomb. There's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at oh. it. Oh. No? Okay. Did what? It? Oh. I thought we were going to go down the Sonya route that she. had tested the bombs. What? Oh, right, okay. Maybe not. Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off, didn't Chiaki use the card reader? If she's a traitor, she would have been more caught. There's no way Chiaki would have known if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a fake was... Me, when I tried to detonate it. Unless you know a whole lot about bombs... There's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. Hmm. I have to move forward. Path she's showing us. Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn, didn't Chiaki use the. If she's a traitor, she would have been more. There's no way Chiaki would have. If that bomb was fake or not! The only person who knew it was a fake was. Me! When I tried to dead. Okay, there we are. That's not it! That's not it! Sonya shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Mm, okay, yeah. If Monami and Chiaki are together, that information might have been shared. I see. Is that true, Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because... If I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I do not want to hear that! God, she's uh, insistent that it's not her. Oh, it's this one again. Enough already! Please do not say another word! I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. Uh, and just because she knew the bomb was a fake does not mean we should decide she is the traitor! Okay. Let's do it. Sonny's account, Monogum's account, Monogum's notebook, new paper. Hmm. 
Even if she knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is a traitor! If that counts as evidence... I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! He's not letting me... Slash! What? No, oh, come on. She's panicking. I have another account right away. It might be best to wait for some words. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. Oh, just wait, wait. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence. Damn it! What's the need to respond? Even you just if told she me knew the bomb was fake. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor. If that counts as evidence. I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! Okay, oh won't let me there! Why can't I push back against that one? What the hell? I don't have enough words for counter right away. Might best to wait for Sonya's words. Even if she knew the bomb was fake. What? That does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! After oh, all, four I also knew the bomb was fake! Oh, what? Wait, what am I supposed to do here? I never really understand this minigame, to be honest. It's fucking Trial 5 and I always fuck it up. Even if she knew the up. bomb was fake! That does not prove Chucky is a traitor! If that counts as evidence... I should be doubted too! What am I supposed to do After here? All, I also knew the bomb was fake! She's panicking pretty badly. I won't have enough words if I counter her right away. Might be to wait for Sonya's words. Even if she knew the bomb was fake! That does not prove Chucky is the traitor! Can we wait for this one to finish? If that counts as evidence... I should be doubted too! After oh, all, wasted a I also knew the bomb was fake! Right? Uh, no, I'm back here. What does it want me to do here? I do not understand at all. I'll be honest. I, I, I I'm not too keen on this mini game. I'll be I'll be brutally honest here, because I feel like I just cannot get the hang of it. Mister, wait for Sonya's words. What does that even mean? Even if she knew the bomb was fake. Maybe leave that one and go for the next one. That does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence... I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake! Let's push her over there. Okay, advance! Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. There was someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. No. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to uh, check what this was. He knew all along that the bomb's fake, but he never revealed it. Okay. So Monokuma's account could be the thing that enables us to. He knows everything to... about this island. Fuck, where is it? Monokuma probably told Chiaki. That it was fake beforehand! Yeah, just do it! If so, you could not oh declare that! Oh my god, are you serious? Me and Chiaki were working together! Oh my god, there were texts in the way, that's what was going on here. It's over the place, but she should know. So wish it wasn't true, maybe that Chiaki just says kidding with the usual tone of voice, but that, just my selfish desire. There was someone other than me and Monami... ...who knew that bomb was fake! I should not waste my cuts That someone is Monokuma! Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island! Oh fuck, I did it again! I didn't mean to do that! No! Crap. Fuck! I keep pressing the wrong button! There was someone other than me and Monami! Oh wait, no, no, no. Who knew that bomb was fake! Save your cuts, Red. That someone is Monokuma! Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about Monokuma probably told Chiaki that it was fake beforehand! There we go, got it. I always struggle with those mini games. Always. You're right. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a fake. 
But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. Then where did Nagato obtain the bomb he used? I wonder. If I'm going to give you guys a hint, uh, that's misspelled, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes. I know that already. Oh, wait, one voice. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept it quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was going to happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Phew, I feel relieved. Th that... Manakuma may have just been lying. No, he won't lie at times like this. You already know that. Uh, Hajime, are you going to believe Monokuma over Chiaki? That's not it. It's just, even if Chiaki is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you, that's not it! We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? The music comes in like that, you know. It's time for another emotional bit. Doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her! If we don't, nobody's going to be saved! <laughs> Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Cause... This is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Are you telling us to believe in you? And sacrifice you? That is just too cruel! I'm sorry. Ch Chihaki! Monami, I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? Again, I have very little to say at this point. I know. It's voting time, right? Uh, hey. Chiaki. Oh, this trial's been going on a while. <laughs> I think we're about three hours. You don't have to worry. Probably past that mark. Believe in me and cast your vote. Maybe. <laughs> Damn it! I mean, then again, all the trials have been about three hours, haven't they, at this point? My bad. Even what I just said. Why did it end up like this? Oh, man. We finally got to the vote. Well... That was a f crazy fucking trial, that was. Wow, how did I even get a... I don't, you know what? Don't question it. Somehow I get B grades, even though I did shit in that trial. <laughs> but never mind. Oh, man. Oh, it's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness. Loneliness. Sadness. But most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But... Even so, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking and believe with as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. I'm sorry, game of waifu. I'm sorry. Even so. Oh man. God. I have nothing to say. I'm just sort of shell shocked. <laughs> God, I, I have to wrap me up soon. Flipping heck. I need to get food. It's only nearly half six in the evening. But we got to get to the execution at the very least. Man, I'm pooped. Let's go ahead and announce the result. <laughs> 
traitor from the Future Foundation and Nagito Komaeda's killer is... Yahoo! Chiaki Nanami! Damn it! Can I make you serious? That was correct. Yeah. Hey, Louis, the fact that Chiaki was a traitor, the fact that Nagito's crime depended entirely on his look. <sighs> Everything was true. Damn it. Well, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. Congratulations, everyone. Damn it. Stupid, we're not celebrating at all. Damn it. Hey, Louis, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. What? That is... I cannot believe it, even though I do not want to believe it. There is no choice but to believe, right? I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner, but I couldn't say it no matter what. Cuz... I can't be- Oh, nearly went to a funny voice then. I can't betray the Future Foundation. Arr, I can't betray! Well? Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um... It's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the Future Foundation. Arr, what the heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. <laughs> You're right. Why? Now that's not the time to be laughing. Well? But strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I'm somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. Ah. Can I make you still saying things I don't get, you wallaby? But if we ask you anything, you're just not going to answer, right? Like, if we ask you ask why you were in the Future Foundation and stuff... I'm sorry. That is... Even if you were a traitor, you never betrayed us. Chucky, you will always be our friend, even now. <laughs> we don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologise. Yeah. Can I make so the traitor was revealed and Chiaki lost? In the end, it all went according to Nagito's plan, huh? Like... Hey, Louie, about that. Was that really Nagato's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? If so, isn't it strange? Arr, strange. So? I mean, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> You've raised a good point! That's exactly it! Even though Nagito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Arr! Yes, indeed! Congratulations! You successfully stopped Nagato's plan. I mean, Nagato's plan was to reveal the traitor. <laughs> and kill everyone else besides the traitor. What? Huh? Kill everyone else besides the traitor? Are you serious? That was Nagato's goal. Huh? You know, makes some why would he do something like that? Of all that, to form a plan that only the traitor would survive. <laughs> Is, the, is that bastard really that twisted? Nope. It's okay. Arr, okay, what? Well? I mean, it's not just Nagato's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch Chihaki! You really are a kind-hearted person. Hmm. You think so? <laughs> Chief, I wonder where you got your personality from. Perhaps. Maybe our dad and our big brother, don't you think? Our dad? Our big brother? What? Hey! Come on now! Don't go talking about your family all of a sudden! That's totally ripping off Teru Teru! I can't lose! Then I, I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else, if, even if I know it's a fight I can't win... Hiya! Must try to retaliate. Huh? Retaliate? <laughs> I will no longer let you do as you please. This stupid! Stop! What are you doing? As they say, we shall die together. Uh, what? Are she self-destructed? What'd you say? Hey, Louis, what's what's going on? Huh? Marco, I like, died. No, no. I'm not dead! Can I make some more? A new one fucking came out! Phew! Man, that surprised me! If only I didn't have a spare, I would have died! I can't lose! Not yet, I'm not done yet! Th that's... 
Hey, wait! <laughs> She's at it again! If I don't beat you, <laughs> nobody can live in peace! Stop it, I say! I'm sorry, I lose! Forgive me! Not yet. <sighs> Seriously, stop it. If you don't stop right now, it's all going to be destroyed. I won't forgive you. Of course. I'm thinking so you'll all be destroyed. I will be the one to protect my students. I won't let you. I will protect them with my life. Our monomy, you. Hey, hey. Now then, how many of you are still there? You might as well all come out all at once. Ooh, how exciting. How many? Not that much. Just around. 10 to the power of 60. <laughs> oh dear. What did you say? What? That was 10 to the power of 60, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's what it looked like to me. I'm, I'm not good at maths, okay? Hey, Louis, 1 million. Hmm. 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 1 million, 1 billion, 1 trillion, 1 quadrillion. Jump ahead. 10 to the power of 52, 10 to 56, and then 10 to 60. I'm assuming that's a power symbol, I don't know. Yes, I was right, that's 10, 10 to the 60th power. <laughs> hey, hey! After all, if you're still joking around, you sure have quite the daring spirit. Too bad! Except I'm not joking. <laughs> what are you even saying anymore? Don't, didn't you see that scene? All the monocoupers. <laughs> While you're doing this, my clones are continuously and endlessly created in the Monokuma Manufacturing Facility. That's wrong! What? Those are just stuffed animals. Oh, that's right. I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. D damn it! You're just bluffing. Might me finish him off? Hey, um... Even if it's just a plushie, as long as you give it Monokuma's personality, <laughs> it becomes a fully developed Monokuma. And also because this is a virtual reality, isn't it? They just need to be programmed. Arr, what did you say? There's no way that's possible. There's not even magic hair. <laughs> magic hair? Could it be? Have you already obtained that much power? Hey, hey, hey! Can I make hold on? If you bring up magic so suddenly, we're going to be so confused. Unless you mean magic in a technological sense, we won't understand this at all. Hey, hey! Hey, Lloyd, what's going on? Don't tell me they're not going to call this magic or something. Hmm. Well, I don't care how you interpret it. Oh my god. <laughs> In the end, even if Monami risks her life or does whatever, it doesn't matter to my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong! <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking! So how about this? This overwhelming despair! Does it make you dizzy from excitement? What's this? And how many monomies are left to challenge my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong? <laughs> you don't have to say uh, to say anything, I know. Let's see, you just have 10 more left, right? <laughs> I know everything. I am the conqueror of the new world. I can't lose. I won't give up. Even if I have no chance of winning, I... It's okay, monomy. Hmm? Well... It's not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone and leave the rest to them. I... But... Right? Damn it. What the hell's going on? Um... I do not know for certain, but the only thing I can say is... Please listen! Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Like... Hey, Louis, does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy besides the Future Foundation? This is bad. You know, mates, we're in this situation because we're caught up in a dispute between these two organisations. Damn Okay, that's it. Let's just leave that talk for later. <laughs> because, 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 because... <laughs> because the punishment time's gonna start. Holy shit, it only took us long enough. <laughs> oh, hold on, just a little more, just a little more time. Sing! To wait or not to wait, that is the question. But which will cause more despair, that's the real question. <laughs> if you think about it, you'd know, right? There's no way I'd wait. Arr, but I haven't... I'm sorry. How'd you may? Regardless, there's nothing else I can say. I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. 
Or not that I. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer! Special bleeding service! Ah, for Monomi too! Huh? Why even Monomi? Hmm. It's just a two for one special. I could have killed that thing any time I wanted, since she's not a student. And also, I don't need anybody that will defy me anymore. Uh-huh. Also, I remember now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm an only child. That is... What is that? Hmm. It's okay. Even if I'm here, I'm just be a burden anyway. And not just that. <laughs> I've decided to believe in everyone. You guys... I'm sorry I'm about... sorry about so many things. Ah. I'm sorry... for lying to you. I'm sorry... I couldn't protect you to the very end. Just one last time. Let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Cause, you yourself are your biggest supporter. If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. What's this got to do with anything? <laughs> Monomy. Love, love. Was that just your decide? You just decided to have those as your final Bye, parting everyone. words? Oh, man. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. Because I know. Bye-bye. Please don't forget about your teacher. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Oh my god! Space invaders with a tank. Okay. Um... Um... Oh my god! We're getting all the classic video games here, aren't we? No! Don't do it! Oh god! That was quite a punishment. <laughs> oh, even until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments. Without realising it, I'd fallen to my knees. A feeling of powerlessness spread throughout my body. It's over. Arr. It just had to end. If I could ask what I needed to ask, if I could say what I needed to say, Chiaki vanished before my eyes. I couldn't even tell her thank you. If I had said that, would you have been comforted a little? If she was executed as the traitor, would you have been able would you have been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. I don't believe it! Good gracious, that was such a big surprise! 
As for Chiaki, she regularly took on the role of point man during the class trials, as did Nagato too. What? And not only was she the traitor, she was Nagato's killer too. Phew. Oh well, don't worry about it. There won't be any more situations where you'll need to rely on them. Huh? G'day mate's way, does that mean... Hmm... Now that the annoying rabbit is gone as well, all of the obstacles that have been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone. Hey! Can I make you serious? You can really leave this island? I shall now present! Yup, congratulations! With this, I shall announce the end of the killing school trip. It's not going to be over though, is it? What? For you five who've survived up until now, I shall give you the right to graduate. <sighs> Thank you for all your hard work. Are, are, are you really okay with that? Hmm? What do you mean? Are there still be two days left? If you were acting like your usual self, you would be setting things up so another killing happens right away. <sighs> hey, Louis, you're right. <sighs> Can I make stop it? What are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Oh, uh, also, you said you five. Like you're emphasizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's why you're saying it's the end already, even though there are still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left, sweet Hajime? Yeah. Are you planning to make a volleyball team? Stupid fool! You need six people for volleyball. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure that's not it. Oh, don't stay quiet. Say something. What's your actual purpose? You're our enemy, and an enemy of the Future Foundation. So what's your true identity? Arr? Hey, um... If the Future Foundation is the World Ender, then I will end the new world that the Future Foundation has created. Arr? No, no! Well, you'll just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends. <laughs> that timer has almost reached zero. If it reaches zero, everything will end. The Future Foundation's lane plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles. Hey, um... And when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all of your questions answered in one go. Hmm. And then you guys will find out for yourselves just how messed up this new world is. Hey, hey. Hey, Louie, a new world? Don't go saying new shit all of a sudden. Yep. Well, just think of the remaining two days until the countdown reaches zero as a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, Sing. your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you. <laughs> what is going on? Arr, Monokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going, forever. As for what we did afterwards, honestly, it doesn't matter at all. I returned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why... I didn't look back on everything that had happened up till now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen and burrowed deep into my sheets as if I were trying to hide. In doing so, I was somehow trying to endure the long day. And then the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Arr. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess... That isn't needed anymore. Is everything really going to end? What is everything anyway? How far? How much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know. About our school memories, the Future Foundation, Hope Speak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Can we really end this and turn our back on all that? Arr. And not just that. If we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Hope Speak Academy? What? That was my last night at Jabberwock Island. At a place where my worries didn't even matter. Everything was about to end. What? What's happening? <laughs> 
Zero days left. I feel like I had a fun dream, somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with a somewhat happier feeling than usual. That's right, it's the last day, according to Monokuma. Suddenly my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I'd never felt before. I feel like I'd been abandoned in this world. Completely, utterly alone. With nobody left on this island that I... Kazuichi, Fuyahiko, Akane, Sonya. Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything. Like everything in this world was nothing but lies. And he screams. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate... Oh, he's repeating the same line. Oh. Oh. It's a virtual reality. It is, isn't it? <sighs> Systems glitching. The fuck? Okay, that's where we're going to end it, everyone. We're going to leave it on a cliffhanger. We'll continue in the next episode. So, this may well have been the second or third episode of the um, of that particular case. So, uh, I don't know which number it'll be just yet. Just not until I review the footage. So, yes, thank you for joining me then, everybody, for that. Oh, man. We've lost our gamer waifu. I'm actually kind of upset about that. Man, that was a heck of a trial, that was. I mean, I fluffed up some of the freaking um, elements of that really badly. But, you know, what's new? Having said that, though, I mean, the way the freaking Nagato's plan played out there, that was insane, that was. Wow. i got to go, though. My voice is uh, giving out bit by bit. So, yes. Well, hope you enjoyed that then, everybody. If you're not doing it already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Link's down below, as always. If you're also interested in seeing me do anime-related content, go check out my general propagandist channel. Link also down below, if you're interested in that kind of thing. If you enjoyed, don't forget, leave a like on this video, comment, share it with your friends on social media, and of course, if you're not already done so, subscribe to my channel. Why not? But than that, thank you, everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, all. There we are, got him. Oh. Got him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. God damn it, there's loads of them. Oh, and there's another one. Oh my god, they're all floating up. Cluff. Oh, where, oh god, you're up there. Oh no! God, how many are there? That got him. <laughs>